In the name of Amen, the Supreme, the All-Powerful, the one and only true Lord, and Amen we trust as the Republican intellect, the real 144,000 is being gathered in this day and time, the Mentellians. Menzeka Aminun to all of my Mentellian brothers and sisters out there, registered members of the Republican intellect. And to all future Mentellians who have yet to find their way home to the Republican intellect, which is Amen's community. I send greetings out to you and I send peace out to you in our Mentellian language by saying to you, Menzeka Aminun. Good evening, I'm your host, the intellectual Nubin Menkares, and this is Mentelec Radio. And tonight, tonight, we're going to be talking about the satanic undertone, undermine, and undercurrent control by the beast. This whole three-dimensional state beneath the fourth dimension is controlled by satanic undertone, right, and Luciferian overcurrent. Satanic undertone and Luciferian overcurrent, right? There's a Luciferian overcurrent that goes right along with the satanic undertone. What do I mean by that? The people that control the media, the people that control the things you see, the things you hear, they represent the Luciferian overtone of linear, uh, circular control, excuse me, of circular control. This is why if you notice all of the... um, media companies have linked up together. They have all formed a monopoly. They have all formed a monopoly. Now, that's supposed to be illegal here in the United States for there to be so many to be a monopoly on media. But why have they done that? Why have they not allowed competition or uh, groups of people to have their own media setups? It's very hard to have major media setups here when you have uh, one corporate entity, right, that's controlling all of the radio, all of the uh, internet, all of the music, everything, right, the film, all the things that you uh, listen to, what you see, what you hear, the billboards and things like that. They all control that media form. And it's all, con- of course, it's all under the government because the government gives them license through the FCC, the Federal uh, Communications Commission, gives them, uh, con- gives them a license to push out this um, overcurrent, limited thinking, right, within this three-dimensional realm. But with that is also an undercurrent, a satanic undercurrent. The Luciferian overcurrent is the control, and the satanic undercurrent is the control beneath you got control above and control beneath control above and control beneath but then you have a next factor that's coming in and that's control beyond you have the control beyond which is the almond coming in with the almond frequency coming in and they know that the almond frequency would come from beyond right to overshadow or outbrighten that which is over, you know, and that which is under. That which is over was set to keep all things in between those that were created on this planet, the creations and the clones, in a certain level of thinking. Because Amin allows them to be in a certain level of thinking. This is why you have good and bad, positive and negative. The positive is the Luciferian overtone, right, of control, of mental control. And the um, negative is the satanic undertone, the undermining, the undercurrent that keeps people controlled, the people in the middle. You have to control top and the bottom. You have to control the top and the bottom within the three-dimensional realm. And it's all controlled by these humans right now. It is under the control of these humans through communication, right? What you see, what you hear, right? What you um, take in, what you read, everything. All this is controlled by that. That's why you have controlled opposition in this society. Again, it goes right along with positive and negative. Positive and negative are limited states. Positive and negative are limited states within the three-dimensional realm. 
those things that are over and those things that are under are, are in control, right? Or in charge, put the people that were put in charge of these two states, right? Your humans, your most intelligent humans at this point, right? Which is your elites. The Luciferians control the Satanists, aka the positive controls the negative. Belief is based on this. I told you before, belief is based on truth and lies. Belief is based on truth and lies, right? Those put together create belief. So, those people who are in the undertone, right, are the people who have limited intelligence, less memory, as I talked about Sunday, those who have less memory, the ones who, you know, fall under black, the ones who fall under white, right? They are in alignment. They, they represent the people in the middle. This is why one minute they'll be like, oh, on some positive thing, then the next minute they're on some negative thing. They're showing you that they fall beneath or between the current, but between the current of over and under, they represent the middle. They represent the middle ground. The satanic undertone, undermine and undercurrent, is basically what grounds them, which keeps them in alignment with each other. Right? That's why I said these people, black, white, and everything in between, these humans, these people who were created on the earth, they had to have a foundation. They had to have a foundation that kept them grounded in their way of thinking. Them grounded in their way of thinking is negativity. Negativity, the satanic undertone, undermine and undercurrent keeps them grounded in a certain level of thinking that keeps them from thinking above that, which is controlled by the Luciferians, which keeps them in the middle. Right? The Luciferians from the top control the people in the middle with the undercurrent beneath. They sit on top of all the knowledge that's here on this planet. They sit on top of all of it. Everything that you hear, see, believe in, what you think, all that on that level is controlled by them. Right? And they make sure you stay tied to that. That you don't go out of bounds of that which is beneath you and that which is above you. But we as the Mentellians are receiving transmission that is beyond them. I told you before, you have that which is beyond that which is above and that which is beneath. That which is beneath, that which is above, and that which is beyond. We receive in the current that is beyond as the Mentellians, as those who are of the Amun race. So again, this frequency, this current will not be ultra-stood by those who are in the middle. Do I make myself clear? The black and the white and the humans in general represent the middle. They represent the middle ground. They stand between negative and positive. They stand between negative and positive. Right? We are above, beyond, I should say, these things. The elect represent those who are beyond. Why, like I said, they are controlled by positive and negative. They are controlled by positive and negative. Always. That's why there will always be a double-minded mind mentality here in this planet people will say one thing one minute that's positive then they say something that is negative in the next minute because they're programmed to think like that people who were created within this three dimensional realm people who were created here on earth people who were cloned here on earth those who were created and those who were cloned they represent the middle ground a positive, they, that, and they will always be governed by positive and negative. They will always be governed by positive and negative. They cannot help that, right? They can't help that. They don't understand the current in which they are being manipulated by. They don't understand the current. They will always be pulled by the undercurrent. That's why I said when people give you compliments and things, po say positive things, always take it with a grain of salt. Because in the next minute, the people that give you the compliments and telling you how good you are are the same people that will down be downing you in the next minute. Because they're controlled by the undercurrent. The undercurrent represents the gravitational pull of thinking that pulls you down to the ground.
What do they always say in the society? You have to be down to earth, right? You have to be down to earth. What does that mean? That means your mentality has to be grounded. And to be grounded is to be negative because everything that's in the ground or on the ground represents a form of negative current. It represents a form of negative current. Why? Because you have so many life forms feeding from the ground. Animals, plant life, humans, they all feed. So if you have all these people feeding from the undercurrent of the ground, the negative current, right? And you have those who are above this controlling it. Because like I said, the higher up you go, <coughs> the less people are up in the higher re- echelon, the higher realm. Because the elite will put over those who are in the middle and they control from the top those who are in the middle by the current or the undertone which is at the bottom. Ask yourself the question, how is it that people who are sitting on top, your elites who control everything, your Illuminati, how is it that they're able to control millions and millions and millions of people on the planet? How are they able to control and keep millions of people in alignment, right? Working, doing what they're doing. How are they able to do that? Through the satanic undertone, undermining undercurrent. And what is the satanic undertone, undermining undercurrent? Everything that you believe in. Everything that you believe in without thought. That represents the satanic undertone, undermine, and undercurrent. Everything that you do not question without, uh, everything that you refuse to question without thinking. That is what breathes the satanic undertone, undermine, and undercurrent of this planet. Within this grounded realm. You see? Because this is how they're able to tell people, millions and millions of people, get millions and millions of people to believe what they say. Right? The things that the millions and millions of people on this planet believe are only controlled by a few. The things that you believe are only controlled by, the many things that you believe in on this planet are controlled by a few. You see? That's how they control the people in the middle. The creations, the clones, they control everything in the middle. They represent the middle ground. And the middle current, right, what controls, you know, the people in the middle ground are controlled by that which is from the top and that which is from the bottom. They move on that. I told you before, they don't have any real um, movement. They don't have any real movement. They are animated. They are moved by that Luciferian order from above. They are moved by the Luciferian uh, um, current from above that is transitioned by that which comes from beyond. In other words, the almonds send in transmission from beyond, meaning from the higher dimensions, the fourth dimension and beyond, and it comes into the three dimension to those who are open for reception and those who are able to convert it into extended intelligence and it comes into those people who are in the upper, right, like your elites of your Illuminati, which represents the artificial version of the elect because that's what the elites are. They are the artificial version of the elect. They represent us in an artificial form, what we're supposed to become and even greater. So they're given... Uh, uh, license control these people in the middle but they have to control them from the bottom they have to control them from the bottom which is the foundation the satanic undertone undermine and undercurrent who represents that today who represents that in physical form today your so called black people they represent the satanic undertone undermine and undercurrent why do I say that because notice everything that pulls the humans together, everything that gathers the humans together, your East Indians, Caucasians, Asians, all these other races of people, is really what they use or they say, we don't want to be like these black people. We don't want to be like these black people. Why do you think they call you black people? Again, what was I saying the other day? Why do they call you black people? Because they want to use you as the foundation of what they stand on. The undertone, the undermine, and the undercurrent. And being that black people, so-called black people, are not in their right state of mind, they have become the undercurrent, 
the undertone and the undermine of everything. Why you think in this day and time they're using all of these so-called black men as the face of homosexuality now? The face of uh, sexual, pred- sexual predators now? Why you think they, they wasn't doing that before? But why are they doing that now? They, I mean, they've always lightweight did it in the background, but now they have to try and use it as an even stronger undercurrent. In other words, they have to use the so-called black people as the foundation, as the satanic undertone, undermining undercurrent of what they don't want the people in the middle to be because they want the people in the middle to reach for the top and never actually get there. But in other words, they don't want to stand on the bottom. They want to be above the bottom. The so-called black race by default has become the bottom. They have been the tool of the Luciferians. They have been used as tools of the Luciferians, right? The ones who sit on top to basically keep people in the middle, keep them together collectively in the middle and by standing on top of you. So they use you. That's why they say all these bad things about quote unquote so called black people. Because they said it and they said it to make it so. Because the top, the people from the top, are dictating this uh, image of black people. Why? Because I said they created the image of black people. They create these images of black people through their movies, through their media. This is how they keep this satanic undertone, undermining, undercurrent going. They take the strongest people, the strongest foundational people, and they place all of that negative energy on top of them and they put everybody on top of them in the middle they put them on top and then of course they put themselves above the people in the middle you follow what i'm saying positive and negative in other words they cast black people in the negative they cast everybody else in the middle ground and they put themselves the elite on top right they put black people at the bottom as the physical manifestation of the satanic undertone, undercurrent, and undermine, right? Then they put your white people, which is your Caucasians, East Indians, Asians, all the other people in the middle, all the humans, the creation, and your Luciferians, your elite, your Zionists, they put themselves on top. Because again, I told you, your Zionists don't consider themselves to be white people. They don't consider themselves to be white. They utilize black and white, Right? They utilize black and white. The black is the bottom. The white is the middle. And these Zionist people, the ones, the elites, they represent represent the top. So, we represent the beyond. The bright race represents the beyond. The solar current that is now coming in gradually and it's starting to pick up. It's starting to pick up more tone, more frequency and more transmission and it will alter the current the current that's going through this planet right now it will alter the present day current that's going through this planet because what do these what do these people always say there's nothing new under the sun right there's nothing new under the sun but who is in charge of the things that's under the sun who is in charge of the information that's being dispatched or put out under the sun your elites, your Luciferians, the people who sit on top, they dispatch the information to the middle and to the bottom. And as it comes down from the top to the middle and to the bottom, it's filtered out. Nobody wants to be at the bottom, so again, they want to be on top of the bottom. They want to stand on top of the bottom. That's why I said the other day, it's no coincidence that everybody from your East Indians to your Caucasians to your your Asians, they don't like you they don't like you so-called black people this image that the white man has created about you so-called black people they don't like you because they are always taught that you are the bottom feeders you are the lesser and the lower people and by default you have become that you have actually become what it is they have casted out the image that they have casted of so-called black people which they created you have become go back and look at look at them early movies Go back and look at those early movies. A lot of y'all don't even realize what y'all was looking at when y'all was looking at the early movies in the 1900s with the black face on, with the black face on and the, and the uh, um, people doing blackface and dancing and all that other stuff and clowning. They was actually casting an image of, and even the cartoons and the books, the early books with the pickaninnies and the blackface and things like that. You thought they was just making fun of you. No, they were actually casting images of what they wanted us to become. 
they were casting satanic undertones, undermines, and undercurrents of what they wanted us to become so that we would go to the bottom so that everybody would look at us at, as the bottom. And then we would even look at ourselves at the bottom. We would go to that place in the bottom in our minds. We would start to become or fashion ourselves as those who carry the undertone, the undermine, and the undercurrent. And that has happened. They casted that image out for a reason. Right? They put black face on. Nobody looked like that. Why would they do that? Nobody looks like that. Nobody even questioned that. Nobody looks like that. That was just some creation they made up. Some stereotypical creation. Because that creation of the undertone and the undermine and the undercurrent represents the bottom frequency. It represents the lower frequency. Again, the top has to always create the lower in order for them to stay on top, do they not? They have to create a foundation for them to stay on top. And they also have to create a foundation for the middle ground, for the people in the middle ground, because the middle ground people represent middle management. Think of it as a business. Think of it as a business. You have the top people, right, who run everything. Then you have the middle people who are the middle management. And then you have the bottom people who are the grunts, who are the workers. You so-called black people have been cast as that. They've took the strongest people, who I said, the most dominant people, and put them at the bottom. They put them at the bottom as the foundation for, for the satanic undertone, undermining, undercurrent. Why do they call you black people? Think about this. This takes on many different levels and many different tones that y'all not even ready for. Why they call you black people? Your mind's not even ready for this. And yet, you still got so-called black people calling themselves black people. Then they, call, then they talk about the prince of darkness and Satan and Lucifer and Satan is darkness and blackness and all this other stuff. You don't even understand what that means. Why they cast you in that image as a people who are absent of light because that's meant to be because the whole, the Luciferians had to cast a bottom, a foundational people a foundational people at the bottom. They had to cast a foundational people at the bottom so that they can continue to stand on top of. So that they can continue to point to and say, these are the ignorant, the lower, the lesser people. They have to continuously cast out that transmission, that undertone, that undermine and undercurrent. You see it in commercials and everything. They do this purposely. They write these things purposely. To cast out this undertone, undermine, and undercurrent of Satanism within the people because they have truly made you so called black people the physical manifestation of satanic undertone, undermine, and undercurrent. They have made you that by default. The lesser, the bottom, the lower. Right? They say all, notice all the Satanists and all these other people, they wear all the black colors and the black this and they hear dotted they hear black, but then they turn around and call you black people. How does that link up? They're calling you black people, people in darkness, people in a state of ignorance who are seeking light. But you will never find the light because you have no idea where the light comes from. You have no idea where the light comes from. The light is being transformed from a state of brightness from beyond into a state of the top, right? The inner, or should I say the outer, it's coming, coming in and to the bottom, right? Beyond, and you got above and you got below. Beyond, above, and below. Black people are below the below, the satanic undertone, undermine, and undercurrent. Again, this takes on a physical manifestation. This is why, when, you, like I said, when so-called black people try to connect to something on a higher level beyond that which is in the middle, that was in the middle ground, or try to connect to something that is beyond the overtone, they are quickly try to knock that out or call it a cult or something like that because black people are programmed to try to push out anything that is coming from beyond. They're programmed to push out anything that's coming from beyond with that positive and negative mindset. They're programmed. Anything that is not coming from the beast, anything that is not coming from the Luciferians, they're going to push out. 
different. That's why I told you all these things that they're studying and they, that they, you know, from spirituality to religion to Pan-Africanism, all this knowledge is Luciferian. It's all Luciferian. It comes from these Luciferians. And it's, meant, and it's passed down to the people in the middle ground and passed down to those people who are an undercurrent. Because black people are two-dimensional, you represent the undercurrent. You represent the undermine, the undertone, of which everybody puts theirs on. You represent the negative. Again, on the news, they care, and they said this, they care more about a so-called black person doing something, like I said, uh, they, they don't care about the serial, the white serial killer that done killed 50 people. They care more about the black kid that stuck up somebody uh, 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 and snatched a purse. Or pocket. They, that, makes front, that makes front line news. Some black person that snatched, some black kid that snatched a bag or robbed somebody versus the person who, the white person was serial killer. That don't make the news. The black kid snatching the bag, that makes the news. Why is that done? Because black people, black people are the satanic, are the, uh, meant to be the, uh, what I want to say, they're meant to be the image or the representation of the satanic undertone undermining undercurrent they're meant to be that your image as black people which they have worked to craft for over a hundred years ever since the with the advent of film with the with the advent of film and media and things like that it has been decided by fault by the luciferians that you so-called black people would be the undertone the undermining the undercurrent for everything in other words they would look at you as the baddest of everything you are the worst of everything but now ask yourself a question. If you saying that these so-called black people who you created, meaning this image of black people that you created, this false image of something called black people that you created, uh, if you're saying they're so bad, why won't you send them out of this country? When Marcus Garvey tried to leave this country and talk about taking black people out of this country and going back to Africa, notice the so-called white man did not want that. Why wouldn't he want the worst people? The worst, who he says the worst people are in this country, the uh, um, the lower class, the lesser, the bottom people. Why wouldn't he want them going? Why wouldn't he want this this society to be all white? Why wouldn't he want them to separate? When the Honorable Elijah Muhammad talked about separating the black from the white, why didn't they, why did they why didn't they support that? As you saying, black people are inferior, right? This is what they say: black people are inferior, and they created an image of inferior black people. They created this false image of an inferior black people. Hell, it, it, the whole thing of black is inferior to white. Why wouldn't they let or why wouldn't they have these people come, you know, or leave this country or separate? Why wouldn't you do that? That would be easy to, just, you know, get rid of the whole racial divide. Wouldn't that not been easy to do that? Just simply give the, send these people to uh, um, places in Africa, develop them wherever, wherever you want, South America, wherever, develop these places and whatnot, and you ain't got to worry about that no more. Now, white people could have the whole North America, black people could have, so-called black people could have South America or something else. Why wouldn't they do that? Answer, 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 because again, this society cannot thrive without a bottom. This society cannot thrive without a bottom. There has to be a bottom. Because without a bottom, there's no top. That satanic undertone has to exist, and they have to keep somebody in that place. They have to keep somebody in that place. Because if black people are going, then the whole house collapses. The top falls down. The elites fall down. So they need somebody, they need bottom feeders, they need somebody to point to and say, oh, see, those are the evil people. They, this is what's going to keep us united as long as we're not trying to be like them. They're the evil people, they're the negative people, they're the worst, they're the lowest of the low, these black people. You see what I'm saying? Am I making myself clear? I want to make sure I'm making myself clear in what I'm saying to you all. You pull up, you pull a foundation out from the bottom, what happens? The whole goddamn house falls down. The whole house falls down when you, that's why they will never let so-called black people, they wouldn't let black people leave this country. So-called black, they work, they, they didn't plan on so-called black people leaving this country because they needed to build up that image of black people as the bottom. You can only build your house on top of a strong foundation and that is the satanic undercurrent. The satanic undertone because the mass majority of these people on this planet, they will tend to 
to veer more toward the negative. They will tend to veer more toward the negative than the positive. But you control these people in the middle, right, from the top by showing them this is good, this is bad. In other words, they constantly need a reminder of what is good and bad. They constantly need a reminder. They need a physical image, a physical manifestation of bad, just like they need a physical manifestation of good. When they showed you the image of God, they showed you a so-called white man, right? Long hair, they had to give you, they couldn't say, because at one point they'll say, oh, God is a spirit, you know, he's just an energy and a power. But then if that's the case, why was they showing you all these white images of God then? Why'd they show you any images? Because they know that people recognize images. Images are powerful. They know that. And what was the first image of the devil? Go and look up the image of the devil, the, the uh, images of the devil. It looks like a so-called black man. Right? These are all images that were created by these elites. The image of God and the image of the devil. The devil's the black man. The image of God is the white man. You see? They do all that, but then the elites, they control both of those images. They control both of those images. They control the middle and the bottom and the top. They control the middle, the bottom, and the top. They're always going to need a physical manifestation, a physical image of that which is um, negative, that undertone, that undercurrent, and that which is positive. They're always going to need that. So you serve that purpose. Whenever they go into places where there are quote-unquote so-called black people, they don't give a damn what you calling yourself. They don't care what you you know what your so called culture is, what your tribe is. They they already go into the country, already setting setting up that dynamic. Wherever you go, if you go to South America, you go to Mexico. Notice wherever you go in any of these um, countries on the planet, aren't always the so called black people at the bottom. You think that's by you think that's by coincidence? The so called black people are always at the bottom. So. If you wanted to strip all the so-called black people out of these societies and just send them into South America, Africa, put all the so-called black people in separate societies, what would happen to the society of the so-called white man? What would happen to the society of the Luciferians? Their societies would collapse. Their societies would collapse. And they know it. That's why they will, they will rather keep you here and constantly put hell on your people, on black people, because by them putting hell on black people, by them shooting black people, by them preying on black people, preying on so-called black women, this is where their power comes from to keep going. Their power continuously comes from them preying upon you as the bottom. You see? Their power, like a good, another good example of this, they say, oh, you know, after slavery, oh, we don't want these niggas in our, in our, in our, in our, around us and whatnot. We don't want these niggas living in our neighborhood, right? But when you were slaves, they had no problem with you living around them in the house with them and all that, right? Because they can exploit you. The minute they couldn't exploit you anymore, they didn't want you around, but then they didn't want you to go too far. Because when they had a lot of, you know, when they had a lot of black people, for example, after um, slavery, a lot of black people left the South, and then early on in the 1900s when they had the anti-lynching thing, because a lot of black people started leaving down South because they, these Caucasians, these clans, was lynching black people. They was, you know, they was doing their satanic uh, rituals, because that's all that lynching I told you was, was nothing but satanic rituals, right? Witches and satanic rituals. When they was doing that sacrifice in black people, black people started leaving those areas. So now they had nothing to do. They had nobody to sacrifice. So they had to pass anti-lynching laws to stop them because they didn't want black people leaving in mass numbers. They didn't want you making a mass exodus. They wanted you to stay there to keep being sacrificed because they need you to be the sacrificial lamb. That's how the satanic undertone and undercurrent works. Their people have to always sacrifice or take people from the bottom or who they have made the bottom and they have to sacrifice you. They have to kill you. They have to spill your blood because these people are animals. Animals need blood. Animals need blood to spill because in that blood is tone, frequency, and current. Energy, power. Who has the strongest blood on the planet if not our people? Who has the strongest current 
and they blood, if not our people. But see, our people don't realize that because they still think they black people. They don't even understand why they're being called black people because that's all part of the satanic undertone, undercurrent, and undermining that is controlled by the elites. Your Luciferians. I told you this planet is this planet. This whole religious thing, this whole positive and negative thing, this God and devil. That's nothing but Lucifer and the Satan thing. That's nothing, in other words, but God and the devil, positive, negative, Lucifer, uh, uh, it's, uh, Satan. It's all the same thing. Black people, so-called black people, are, in, are at the bottom of that. They are at the bottom. They will always be at the bottom of that, and they will always be manipulated by positive and negative. They will always be manipulated by positive and negative. They're, un they're under that low frequency and that low programming because the people in the two dimension and the three dimension are manipulated by positivity and negativity. You see, it's a current that works within the three dimensional realm. It feed, they feed off each other. That's why I said all these things, they, I don't care what they're being called, positive, negative, good, bad, God, the devil, Lucifer, Satan, it's all nothing but positive and negative. It's nothing but polarities. Polarities work as an engine within the three-dimensional realm. And the people who realize that will become personifications of a higher being or a higher state. I told you, we work from the beyond. We don't work from the top and we don't work from the bottom. We work from the beyond. And the beyond represents the fourth dimension, beyond the third dimension. That's why when I was talking about in class, the hereafter the hereafter is being brought in alignment by way of the fourth dimensional transmission. The Amen represent the ascension, the ascension of the elect in the future. You know, you still got simple-minded people when I say Amen. They still think I'm talking about some God. Even simple-minded members that was in the Republican mental, like these stupid niggas are still talking about, yeah, your God Amen is fake. Your God, what God Amen? I never talked about no God Amen. There's no God Amen. There's no God. There's no devil. That's in their three-dimensional realm. I talked about a race of people from the fourth dimension. That's real. Our ascendants are real. I never talked about no God Amen. There is no God Amen. Never came out of my mouth. There is a race of Amen. An extended race of which we are the reflections of, or should I say the projections of, excuse me. That is an extended race. That is us as we're waking up in extended states, coming out of this bottom of blackness under, from up under this satanic undertone, undermining, undercurrent, because that represents a state of sleep or mental death. That's why the message of Elijah Muhammad said the black man is mentally dead. See, he couldn't express it on this level, right, like what I'm doing right now. But he, he, he had an ultra standing that it was a mental disconnect. When he said that the black man is mentally dead, the black woman is mentally dead, the fact that you're calling yourself black people when your skin is not black shows you're mentally dead, that you've fallen for the Luciferian control, the mental control of the Luciferian. The fact that you still talking about God and the devil, we beyond that. We are beyond God and the devil. And as much as I taught this, you still, like I said, you had people that was, was in the Republican mental like who still didn't hear what I was saying. They couldn't hear it. They couldn't listen closely because their mind as black people is not allowing them to uh, move beyond that undercurrent. The black race is always going to be caught. The so-called black race is always going to be caught in that undertone and that undercurrent. There's nothing you can do for them. They have been pushed in that state. That's why, if you notice, these niggas still get mad when, they, when the white man, you know how the white man tests it? You know, he does things. Let me show you what he does to test it to see if, you, like, he checked niggas' temperature. This is what he does. Remember when, um, what was it, Gucci or Louis Vuitton, when they made those bags with the black face? Remember that? Remember when they made the bags with the black face and these niggas got all outraged? Why do you think they do stuff like that? Why would they do stuff like that? They make those bags with the black face, Right? And then, because they really do that because they want to see if those images still bother so-called, quote-unquote, black people. I don't, I don't get why those images even bother you because those images don't even look like you. Those black face images with the red lips don't even look like you. That's what they want you to think you look like. And thus, they control you mentally so they can control you emotionally. 
They want you to be offended by that. With, you know, if you're on another level mentally, you shouldn't even care about that because that don't look nothing like you. That looks nothing like you. But they want you to think that, that, that that's an insult and that looks like you. And a lot of y'all buy into that emotionally because they got you emotionally and mentally tied to that satanic undertone, undermining, undercurrent that they control, the Luciferians control. This is all mind control. This is nothing but mind control. And y'all falling for the mind control continuously. It's because y'all been undermined. You're going to constantly move on that undercurrent. And on that undertone, no matter what, as long as you see yourself as that physical manifestation of black people, again, they meant to make, make reference to you as they satanic people, those people who are under that satanic frequency, that bottom frequency, that negative frequency. And thus, if they put you or they convince you to go into that negative frequency and call yourself black people, African people, and all this other nonsense, then they can stay in their place as the Luciferians. They can keep the structure and the order the way they want it. Black on the bottom, white in the middle, and the light on the top. Light on the, bo- light on the top, because that's what the Luciferians are. They represent the light. They, they, don't know, they don't consider themselves white. They don't consider themselves white. They consider themselves light. You understand that? They consider themselves the light. L-I-G-H-T. They don't consider themselves white. Ask any of these Zionists, those top Zionists, are they white people? They'll tell you no. They'll tell you no. They'll consider the white race Goyim, even though they will use the white race, or they'll use that so-called whiteness when they want to use it, but they don't consider themselves white people. They consider themselves light people, a.k.a. Luciferians. And anything under them, white and black is under them. You see, they control both. I know this is going to go over a lot of people's heads, especially black people. That's why I said intellect ain't ain't for black people. This is way over their head, even though it's simple for us as the bright race to ultra-stand what I'm saying to you. Because again, we represent the bright. The bright is being formed with the elect in this day and time. We represent the bright as the Mentellians. The Zionists, they represent the light. Beneath us, and you got your white people, your humans, your East Indian, Asian, Caucasian, and then you got your black people, your Negroes. You see, that's the real lineup. That is the real lineup. And like I said, these Zionists, these elites, they got a whole bunch of Negroes that want to pull down the current. They want to pull down, uh, they want us to get pulled down from the current. They want us to be black people. That's what they want so bad for you to stay black people. They want you to stay in that satanic undertone, undermining undercurrent beneath them so that they can keep drawing power from you, so that they can keep drawing emotion and energy from you, so that they can stay on top of you. That's why they want that. You see? This is nothing but mind control. This is nothing but mental control. I need my people to understand what this is because, again, this message is not going to go out void. Only the elect are going to pick this up. As we receive this transmission from beyond. This is not under the sun. This is beyond the sun. The sun is being, just being used as a projection. But who's projecting the image through the sun? Our ascendants. Again, Amun is not a god. There is no god. God and the devil exist within this three-dimensional realm. But on a, uh, on a, on a, on a level beyond... Beyond the bottom and beyond the, uh, 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 beyond the bottom and beyond the top, that is the race. That is the race. That is the race. We'll be right back. The beast needs the black race to exist in order for them to exist. They have to have a bottom. They need a strong foundation because without it, they cannot exist. White falls apart without black. White falls apart without black. White falls apart without black. They have to have a foundation to stand on. They don't have, they can't create no foundation of their own. They can't. You go to a lot of these places, right, where there are no so-called black people, and you see the, they won't tell you, but you see the most, um, 
crazy, demonic, wicked places. Even these places, like in these places where these Caucasians live at, where there's no black people at, these people are some of the most wicked and demonic things that happen. They just don't tell you that in a lot of these areas like New Hampshire and all these places where you don't see no black people at. These are people, like I said, people get murdered all the time. People disappear all the time and things like that. This happens because, again, they don't have that black undertone in that area to say, you know what, we're not going to be like these people. Because, again, black, the black undertone unites the people in the middle. They're like, we don't want to be like those black people. So we got to be better than them. We don't want to be like them. You see? We don't want to be like them, so we have to be better than them. And this is what the elites, they put in your face. They put that black undercurrent, that black undertone, satanic undertone of negative or bad. And then they say, if you are above and beyond that, or above, excuse me, above that, then you are good. You are pulling toward the top. You are pulling more toward the Luciferian image. The God, the Jesus, and all this other stuff. That's the Luciferian image. God, Jesus, Allah, all these God figures on, on the planet in religion are Luciferian. Those are nothing but names for the Luciferians. Because that's who controls these images, the Luciferians. Allah, Jehovah, Yahweh, Jesus, these are nothing but names for the Luciferians, for Lucifer. The light bearers. But we're not interested in the light bearer. We're interested in the bright transmission. Not the light bearing. The light bearer is for those in the three-dimensional realm. The bright transmission and beyond is fourth dimension and beyond, eighth dimension. This is where we are supposed to be in alignment with and what this planet is supposed to be coming into alignment with. The fourth right. The fourth right. Or the fourth righteousness or the fourth ritual of transmission. The extended ritual of transmission. To know exactly where the light receives its images from. Where does the light receive its images from? Where does the Illuminati, the elites, receive their knowledge from? Where do they receive their knowledge from? Answer, from our ascendants who are transmitting it in. And the reason why we're not getting it is because they have convinced the mass majority of our people that they are black. And once they convince you that you are black, then that, get, that cuts the transmission. Once they convince you that you are black people, and that there is a God and that there is a devil, that there is a, 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 a God and a devil and a positive and negative. And once they convince you of that, the transmission that's coming in from our ascendance from the fourth dimension, we cannot get it. So guess where that transmission, because that transmission is going to continue to come in. Guess who's getting it? Guess who's getting, it, getting partial bits of it anyway? You, you guessed it. Your elites. They get it from you because they have taken it from you. That's why they made sure they stripped you of anything and they wanted you to be in the black image that they created for you. They had to create that black image for you so that you would not receive transmission from beyond, which is the fourth dimension. As the bright race, they had to strip you so that you would not receive transmission as the bright race, that you would only get what they left over and give you as black people. They created the image of the black people, a.k.a. the bottom, the satanic undertone or undermine so that you would not receive that transmission as the almond, as the almond race. And there's a lot of black people, like I said, being that there's all these clones on the planet, the clones are in control of the image. The clones are, I should say, not in control of it. They are the receivers of the image of the Luciferians. That's why you got the boule and all these niggas that's out here that's pushing this black thing. They're going to keep pushing this black, black, black thing. See, because they know the black represents the bottom. They represent the bottom. Wherever you hear the black, it represents the bottom. They're trying to convince you to stay black. They need you to stay black. They need you to stay into that satanic state, that undermine, under, where you look at yourself as inferior, where you look at them as superior or supreme. They want you to continuously see yourself that way. You see, they need you to see yourself that way in order for them to keep their power, in order for them to keep their status, so they place the ones in the middle, they want to keep their status above you. Because deep down inside, they know you are, like I said, the dominant people. They just don't know how or why you are the dominant people. Y'all don't even know why. 
you think it's because you calling yourself black or they called you black. No, the black was re meant to be lesser or lower. That's why you were always going to go to the white to care and care about what they think. It is meant for you to be up under them as black people. This is how they created it. They created this, um, this setup of black and white where you would constantly be up under them. You see, told you that your skin is black, you're black people. And again, that was meant to be a Luciferian program. That was meant to be a Luciferian program to create that satanic undercurrent. That satanic undercurrent, that undermining of the bright race. The bright race was disconnected because so many of these black clones accepted that they were black people. And that our place as black people is beneath white people. You see? But who programmed this? Who came up with these uh, uh, identities? Your elites. Your elites. Because these terminologies like black and white, they'll tell you that these are corporate uh, 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 designations or corporate identities. These are all corporate designations and identities. And I use, I use the word corporate because the word corporate is another way of saying cooperate or cooperate with the program. Cooperate with the program. The foundation, in order for the foundation, to, in order for the body to be strong, in order for the house they built to be strong, you have to be on the bottom as black people. That's the only way it works. Foundation the society has to have a satanic undercurrent. It has to have a negative and satanic undercurrent. And they have to have people who are physically, the, uh, the physical manifestation or the representation of that undercurrent or that undertone. They have to have a people representing that. And who else, if not you so-called black people? Who else? Who, who better than you? The most dominant people on the planet. They got to keep the most dominant people at the bottom. Because again, if they take that whole black thing away, if you remove that whole black thing, then guess what? Guess what? You're going to have at least a chosen few that's going to rise to the top of the bright race. I mean, you're always going to have black people who are going to keep feeding on that satanic undertone and undermining that undercurrent controlled by the Luciferians. You're always going to have those black people who are mentally programmed by that, but it won't even matter. Because as time is going on, I told you that they're all going to be consumed and consolidated into one race, which is the gray race. I told you that. We're coming into that. That's why you keep seeing the white man pushing the black woman with the white man. I told you this. They're creating the gray race. So none of that's going to matter anyway. They're going to bring the Luciferian and the satanic transmission all into one body as the gray race, a.k.a. the positive and the negative. They're going to bring the top and the bottom together as one race. As one race. Now, a lot of you so-called black people who are programmed, who are under the control of these Luciferians, you're going to love that. That's going to be something great. You're going to be finding that great. And like I said, you'll really see uh, all these so-called black people, this black this, black power, this black, and all these so-called white people, white power, white supremacy. That's really what they want. That's what they want. Don't be fooled by these so-called white supremacists, white power people, whatever, claiming white power, white power. No, they want to be meshed in with the black. They want to be messed in with the black. And the black who talking about black power this and black power this and the white man is the devil, they want to really be messed in with the white. They both want each other. They want to be messed in together. You see? They want to be messed in with, the, with each other. Because, again, why do these Caucasians always make, so these white power people, why do they always make the uh, focus of their hate and their disdain, so-called black people. Why do they do that? You mean to tell me you, you ain't got no problem with the Arabs? You ain't got no problem with the Mexicans? You ain't got no problem with none of these other people? You only got problem with so-called black people. Why? You ain't got no problem with none of these other people. But you got problem with black, so-called black people. Because you're programmed to think that way. You're programmed to think that way. Black and white. Together against each other, together, because I told you before, against is together. Against is really together. If I tell you to get up against the wall, you have become one with the wall. You are now one with the wall. You are standing connected to the wall if you're against it. Against is really together. See how they play the trick on you? And a lot of so-called black people, like I said, who have accepted that you are black people, and a lot of you, like I said, y'all can't even help it because, again, y'all move off of positive and negative. 
You move off a of positive and negative. When you move off a of positive and negative, you can't help but to accept that satanic undertone, undermining undercurrent. You can't help that. You're programmed that way. Like I said, I've seen so many people come in the Republic. One minute they're like, hail I'm and hail I'm and hail I'm. And next minute they sitting up, they out here talking about, yeah, your, your God I'm is fake. Your God I'm is false. I was like, we was never promoting no God I'm. What the hell are you talking about? Because they can't think outside of God and the devil. That's why they do that. So they think when I'm saying I'm and they think I'm talking about some God. That's all they can associate with it as a bunch of low-level thinkers, as a bunch of satanic people, as a bunch of undertone, undercurrent, and undermined people. They can't think that they are strongly programmed and controlled by the beast. That's why they will always work against the evolution. They will continuously revolve in a revolutionary mindset. They'll say one thing one minute, and then next minute they'll rotate into a circle and say something else the next minute. They'll be on some negative stuff the next minute. Then they'll be back on some positive stuff. Then they'll be back on some negative stuff. Because that's how the black mind works. That's how you've been programmed to work in a rotation, to work as that undertone, that undermine. And they will always, like I said, the proof of what I'm saying, every, everything they say is always coming from the so-called white man, from the elites. They're the ones who are always trying to, you know, they want to find out what the Illuminati is talking about. They all turned on by that Illuminati thing. Why do you think the so-called elites, the Illuminati, put out that whole Illuminati thing? Why do you think they did that? Why do you think they let that all be cut? Why do you think you hear the rappers talking about it now all of a sudden? You know why? Because, again, they want to see who would reach toward that, who would want or reach toward that level of knowledge, right, which is really still nothing but a program. They want to see who's going to reach toward the light. You see, they want to see who's going to reach toward the light. And many of you will try to reach toward the light, but they know that you will never get it. Because you will always go back into the state of darkness. Those who reach for the light, right, a.k.a. the information, the positivity, will always have the undertone and the undercurrent of negativity. They will always be grounded to negativity. That's why I say, and I say this again, the people who are telling me how great I am and all this enlightenment, I don't, I don't pay no, I don't, I don't, you know, a, a compliment to me is like an insult to me. A compliment and an insult is the same to me because, again, it's working off a of positive and negative. We don't vibrate off a of positive and negative. We don't vibrate off that. Right? We are about the beyond. We're not about the, at the top and the bottom. We're about the beyond, the above. Right? The beyond, I should say, I'm not even going to say the above, the beyond. We beyond positive and negative. We beyond good and bad. We beyond God and the devil as the bright race. We are those solar transmitters and receivers who have come from beyond the stars, beyond this earth, beyond this three-dimensional realm. That's who we are as the elect. We represent the bright race, the brighter bronze race. The ones who are receiving open transmission to be able to even receive this transmission or be able to process it. Because anybody's going to listen to it, they're not going to be able to process this. They're going to think, oh, that nigga crazy. What he talking about? That nigga bugger. What he talking about? This crazy nigga. The white people are going to say that and the black people are going to say that. This nigga crazy. What he talking about? What that crazy nigga talking about? Y'all ain't supposed to get it. Because, again, y'all work off of positive and negative. You work off the under and the overcurrent. You work off positive and negative. You're not supposed to get it. Because only the elect will get this transmission. They will ultra stand it and they will continuously move in this current that is being sent. This transmission is being sent from beyond, from the fourth dimension. Only the, only the elect are going to get this. I told you this is not for black people. I keep saying this. And those of you who are listening and you claim, oh, I've been listening to you for two years or three years and I ain't joined the Republic yet, then you're black people that's listening. I told you that. You need to stop listening. If this transmission has not brought you into alignment to come into this community, then you are black people. You, that's how you judge who the black people are and who the bright people are. The ones who are going to come in this community and live in this community and go, be in alignment with this community and trade in those black ways, that positive and negative mindset, those are the bright people. Those who can't do that, they still um, going back and forth with their black people, with black families, black ways. You're black. Just stay where you are. 
Go go follow Egypt or spirituality or the black woman is God or whatever nonsense you want to follow. God and the devil, spirit, whatever, whatever. The great mother, whatever nonsense, whatever madness. You understand? Feminism, whatever. It's all, all that's Luciferianism, man. That's all coming from the Luciferians. Come down from the Luciferians to the people in the middle. Your middle ground people, your white people, your create, aka your creations. And again, I, what did I tell you yesterday? Your white people are not just Caucasians. That's your East Indians, your Asians. They're white people. White has nothing to do with color. It has to do with light. These people in the middle, they receive in the light and the darkness. You represent the darkness. You so-called black people who are in darkness who are the foundation, you represent the undercurrent and the undertone and the undermine. That's why you always try to reach for what, the, what you consider to be the light. That's why you will keep becoming Muslims, you will keep becoming Christians, you will keep becoming Israelites, you'll keep being in the book and things like that, following these fake gods and these fake devils of these Luciferians. You're nothing but a bunch of pawns in the game of the Luciferians. That's it. That's all you are. Think on that. We'll be right back. There's a reason why you see these um, people like your priest, your um, a lot of these Jews that wear the black, and these other people that wear um, the black. The judges in the society notice they wear black robes. These people are Satanists. They're witches, and they're practicing in the Bible Satanism and Luciferianism. The people in the Bible practice positive and negative God and the devil. They're really practicing Luciferianism and Satanism. That's what the people of the Bible practice. That's why I said that the book of Revelation was meant to be the book of the elect. That the elect would come in and receive their transmission on earth. And they would raise the bar into, the, into alignment of the Amen, which is our ascendance. Again, Amun is not no god in the sky to spook, but I could get why they say that, because they only understand good and evil. They only understand good and evil, which is a separation of Amun, our ascendants. They only get that. So, they got to break everything down into good and evil, or God and the devil. Thing beyond that. Anything past that they don't get. You see? Because true people who are the real law because the whole point and anything is to establish law law and order the true people that are establishing law and order are the people that's wearing the blue that's the real that's why the police have blue uniforms because they know that the police are supposed to be establishing the law which comes or comes from us when you see people wearing the black that's the witches they're not the law keepers or the people that keep the order those are the witches the Druids, the ones who um, issue out or control the people with the law because they want the law to be controlled by witches, by your Luciferians and your Satanists. They want that. So, and that's what the setup is now. The setup is that now. But the real law is supposed to be controlled by the blue. That's why we wear blue. We don't wear black and white. We ain't into the black and white thing. We might wear them as the black as the shoes. But that's a sign, even the black shoes, is really a sign that the black thing is beneath us now. We also use the black as a foundation to be beneath us now. We see it as beneath us. Not on us, not above us, not beyond us. We see it as beneath us. The black is beneath. The Satanists are beneath. The satanic current or the lower current is beneath. Because the foundation of everything on this planet is that satanic undertone and the people who are the so-called good or the so-called God, they're the ones that really control the satanic undertone. That's the power. They control the satanic frequency. That's the power of God. The power of God is really to control the devil. That's the power of God. God has no other power other than to control the devil, which translates as the people who have that low level or that low level frequency. Now, I'm going to break that down when I do logically dissecting God and the devil. Because the only power God has is to control the devil. Nothing else. You see, in this three-dimensional realm, the negative 
is more powerful than the positive. Positive is the positive works together to control the negative. You see, they control the negative. The light always controls the dark because the light is over the dark. But on the low level, the darkness is what reigns on the low level. So the Luciferians will always control the Satanists. The top will always control the bottom. And the beyond, which is coming in, will control the top and the bottom. The top and the bottom are going to become one in the three-dimensional realm. There ain't going to be no more separation. The gray race is going to be comprised of the Satanists and the Luciferians in one. In one body. That's already being done. And over them will be the Amen in the fourth dimension. The Amen will represent the one. The one that will be beyond. That collective body that will be beyond that will control the black and the white, a.k.a. the good and the evil, in one body. And one consumed and consolidated body is the gray race. The ground race. So, know that this is where this is ultimately going. That everything was always um, ultimately controlled from beyond. It's only split in half when it comes into this three-dimensional realm on the lower levels. Because that's all that's really supposed to exist. There's a reason why in religion, the number seven represents perfection. The number seven. Because the number seven is really those in the fourth dimension and who are above those in the three dimension or beyond those in the three dimension. The three dimension represents good and evil together. Two sides of the coin, right? The black and the white. But the bright represents the beyond, which is beyond black and white, beyond God and the devil, beyond Lucifer and beyond Satan. Because again, this represents the people. This represents the people. The people who move more on the level of negativity than positivity. This is why they always got to make sure they control black people. Because they know, being that they put black people at the foundation or at the bottom of everything, as that satanic undertone and undercurrent and undermining, being that they put them, they have to be careful that these people may not receive that transmission from on high because once they receive that transmission from on high, some of them, it's going to shake up the order. It's going to destroy the order. So this is why they don't ever want you to receive any transmission other than what they give you from the Luciferian, from the light. They don't want you to get any of your intel or your knowledge from anything other than them as information. They want to be the ones that's controlling you. That's why, like I said, if you teach anything that is beyond what they teach, they're going to call you a cult. They're going to call you a cult. They're going to tell you crazy. And I already know that's going to come. That's fine. They're going to call you a cult leader. They're going to call you crazy. They're going to call you people. And they got black people. Black people in alignment to do that with them. Because again, black and white go together. I proved that. Black and white go together. Didn't I not show you that when I said the ex-members, I gave this an example of ex-members. They was here in the Republican mental. Like, as soon as they, let, they got kicked out, they faded to black. They started going and using white people talking points. Oh, y'all a cult. Oh, see, this, this person's a narcissist. They started using Caucasian talking points. Ain't that strange? Y'all was claiming bright race, the white man and the black and all this other blah, 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 saying all this against the humans and, and this and the human animals and what, uh, uh, supposedly agreeing with this. But as soon as they got kicked out or they faded to black, they went right to talk, white talking points. Because they was always about that. Black people will always follow white people. They will always follow white people. Because they're programmed to. They're programmed to follow white people. That's what it is. Exactly. They don't want you thinking on your own. That's why they always got to make sure they keep their foot on black people. Just, you know, making sure you stay black, making sure you stay in your place beneath them. Because that's what that really means when they say, oh, we're just making sure we're keeping you down, making you stay in your place. Because you hear, I don't heard Ku Klux Klan people say, we got to make sure these niggas stay in their place. We got to keep them down. You see, what is down? Down is beneath them. Down is beneath them as the satanic undertone and undercurrent. That's what down is. That's what that really means. So that you don't receive any brightness of, from anything beyond. So now you know what they are. And see, once you know what they are, and you know who these black people are who are in alignment with them to keep this whole black and white thing going, you start moving beyond that. 
You'll start to see in these, like, these last days, you're going to see the black people working hand in hand with them because they're all going to start becoming the great race. They're going to mesh them together. You're going to see all these black sea stars. They're going to hit right with the white man. I told you that. You're going to see all these black, these black conscious niggas. They're going, they're going to be okay with race mixing and getting with the white people because, again, all that was meant to be, you know, come into alignment together in the three-dimensional realm. You see? Because a whole other order is being set right before their eyes. And again, it's not Nubin Minkares that's doing that. It's not me. I'm just an instrument. That's all. I'm an instrument of things that's going to come regardless. You see? I'm just an instrument. I'm just a receiver. That's all. And the reception is going to get stronger. And the, as this reception gets stronger, what's happening is that the tone and frequency and the order is being reset. It's being extended. Because the transmission of evolution will always continuously come through this planet from beyond. This planet is controlled from beyond, not from below, not from above, but beyond. It is the control of the almond. This is their planet. It is not the white man's planet. It is not the black man's planet. It is the planet. It is not the human's planet. It is the almond's planet. And they are dictating the evolution of change. They are our ascendants. There is no God that we pray into as the Mentelians. We're not praying to any gods. We're not fearing any devils. We're not following any religion. We're not following any philosophy. This is being transmitted from our ascendants who are beyond this three-dimensional realm. They are beyond this three-dimensional realm. They are making contact with us through this transmission of mental intellect to pull us in alignment so that we can go forward, so that we can receive our transmission on Earth to bring this planet into alignment with the fourth dimension as it is, as it is supposed to be. And that's all. So let me go ahead and read these um, questions before we get out of here. What is a satanic undertone undermining undercurrent controlled by the beast? Basically, what you call negativity, what you call the devil, what you call bad, that's really a program of an undercurrent, right? They need a physical manifestation of that, which is your black race. That's why black is considered bad, right? And they call you black people to keep you at the bottom. And y'all have accepted that you are black people. And they test your frequency. They, che they check you niggas' temperature ever so often by throwing out these little black insults. Right? They just they check you niggas' frequency and see if y'all evolved, if y'all still falling for this black nonsense. They check you niggas' temperature ever so often. They'll put out something with some black face on something stupid with a black face and red lips. And you niggas always take the bait. You bite the bait. You go for it. You, oh, are you, oh, and they get these niggas, these fake, again, I'm going to tell you, it's all controlled opposition. When you see these rappers and all them talking about, oh, Louis Vuitton came out with the black face, uh, they, that's all controlled opposition, man. They want niggas to get hysterical and mad about that. Why are you getting hysterical and mad about something that don't even look like you? I mean, like, whatever. They're surprised. Niggas will be surprised. They, if they, they'll be surprised. Niggas don't even care about that. That's all nothing but a program to just see if y'all still under control. And obviously you niggas are still under control. Y'all still believe y'all black people. You still believe you come from Africa. You still believe that you are people of the ground. And a lot of you are. A lot of you are. A lot of you have accepted. So therefore that's what you are. For the people who can see beyond that, that's who I'm here to talk to. I don't care about no black people. I don't care about black people. Black people are controlled by white people. They're controlled by the Luciferians. The, they are the satanic people who are controlled by the, the uh, Luciferians. That's why you niggas do what you do in your neighborhoods. You form gangs, you shoot each other, kill each other, and you can't even understand why you're doing it because you're programmed to be destructive as black people, as the undercurrent, the undertone, and the undermine of the Luciferians, of the beast. Why is this being used to keep the structure and the order the way it is? Black on the bottom, white on the top, and the light on top of them. Black on, black on the bottom, white in the middle, and light on top. Because your light represents your Luciferians. That's who, that's who your light is. The light is on top of the white. And the black is on the bottom of everybody. And the white is in the middle. Right? Why is uh, this... Um, why is this... Uh, how many times... I, how, how is this being used? Through media, through everything that they push through the media and everything. They're using their communications. Right? They're using communications. That's how they push it through. What you see, what you hear, 
everything. How you speak, they control it all. From the time they educate you with this mindset that you are black people, that you are people from Africa, you are black people. Right? Is it controlled from the third dimension? Yeah, it is. It is being controlled from the third dimension, but it is allowed to be controlled from beyond, which is the fourth dimension, for the weak-minded who are going to fall for this. Again, this is meant for the, to be for the weak-minded. What, uh, what is the extended tone, current, and frequency, and where is it coming from? It's coming from beyond, which is the almond. And the bright race is being woken up by that. And that's it. So we're going to close out in the name of Amen by the power of Amen and Amen we trust and Amen we think and in Amen we continue forward forever. Uh, I am the intellectual Newman Menkare. This has been Mentelect Radio. See y'all back here tomorrow at 10. I'll be in Canada in March. Come check me, those of my Canadian family. Good night. It's hell, I'm in then it's hell us. hell us They tried everything just to spell us, us. Fed us religion, religion. gave us fake God. Through all of that, all of that. We, beat the we beat the eyes Now we coming together under one flag, one flag. Colors red, gold and blue. blue Superman, superwoman, that's me and you, me and the you. infinite capability